Hi, I'm Rebecca Owen, and I'm back with another at-home activity for Henricus's Young Historians. Now, this week on social media, we'll be posting all about medicine and herbal remedies from the 1600s. And today, I'll be teaching you how to make a simple pomander ball using ingredients that you may already have at home in your pantry. Now, if you live hundreds and hundreds of years ago, you may have a pomander that was made out of metal. It would be a little metal ball that you could open up and fill with a variety of sweet smelling herbs. And you would wear this ball attached to your clothing somewhere or maybe on a chain around your neck, somewhere close to your body. And the idea was that it would ward off bad smells. And some people also believed that it could purify the air around them. Now, people still make pomander balls today, especially around Christmas time as a fun craft, um, using simple ingredients that we can find at home. All that you need is an orange. You need some whole cloves. They look like this. And you also need a toothpick or a tapestry needle. Now, it's really simple. All you do is poke holes using your needle into the skin of the orange, and then you put the clove inside the hole. It's a really easy process, and you can use any pattern or design that you like when you're making your pomander. Here's an example of one that I made with an X or a cross design on it. It's kind of fun. And if you want your pomander to last a long time, you can seal it up into a brown paper bag after you're finished making it, leave it in there for a couple of weeks, and this will dry all of the moisture out of that orange and make it last for a while. So we hope you have fun making your pomanders at home. Enjoy.